Today, we are going to plant wing bean seeds, also known to Filipinos as cigarillas. Wing beans, also known as goa beans or asparagus peas, are a type of legume. They're a fast-growing, high-yielding plant that produces both edible pods and seeds. The plant is a climbing vine and has unique wing-like structures on its pods, which give it its name. Wing beans have a mild flavor and a crunchy texture. They are highly nutritious and have a unique taste that is similar to a combination of green beans, asparagus, and okra. The pods, leaves, and flowers of the plant are all edible and are used in various cuisines around the world, including Southeast Asian, Indian, and African. The pods of wing beans are rich in protein, dietary fiber, and vitamins, including vitamin A, vitamin C, and the B complex. They also contain minerals such as calcium, iron, and potassium. A 100 gram serving of cooked wing beans contain around 7 grams of protein, 4 grams of dietary fiber, and is a good source of vitamin C, folate, iron, and calcium. In addition to their nutritional value, wing beans are valued for their ability to fix nitrogen in the soil, making them an important crop for sustainable agriculture. They are rel relatively easy to grow and can be cultivated in a variety of soil types and climates. We will soak these seeds in water for a few days to prepare them for planting. The wing bean seeds have been soaking for about 3 to 4 days now, and half of them have started to swell and crack, indicating that they are ready or about to start germinating. I believe that this is the stage at which they need to be planted in soil. However, the other half of the seeds that I soaked remain small and intact, indicating that they need more time to soak in water. The seeds that have expanded in size and have cracked skins are just about ready to be planted in soil. The soil has already been rehydrated and is in the pots. We are using recycled 1 liter carton juice boxes with the top cut off and the seeds are being planted at approximately 3 quarter to 1 inch depth. We are almost certain that they are starting to germinate, we are planting one seed per pot. These pots will be where they remain until the outside soil is ready for planting. sprinkling vermiculite on top of the soil to help with moisture since germinating seeds need constant moisture. If they are left to dry out, it might slow down the germination process or prevent germination altogether. What I'm doing here with the soil is just evening it out.
that they are ready, we are using a sprayer to water the pots. In my opinion, when a seed is just planted, it is better to water it with a sprayer, especially if vermiculite is on top. This way, it helps the vermiculite to stay in place and prevents any craters in soil caused by water from watering can. These are now the wing beans that were planted on April 5, 2023. They have now sprouted and their growth height varies from 1 inch to almost 2 inch tall. The other pots that show no growth were the other seeds that were left soaking and needed more time to soak in water. Days before they were planted on April 10, 2023, the seeds were noticeably swelling and cracking, which means they were ready or about to germinate and thus they are now planted in soil. This week's shout out goes to Michelle and Mary Bell's family in Japan from Julie Villarica Tachihara. Shout out also to Julie's friends Marie, Chu, Lillian, Jenny, Ivy, Minerva, Carrot, and Aris. And a shout out to Ravelin Fabiliar from Lenvery Namaro. If you would like to give a shout out, please let me know through a private message. I usually upload videos to YouTube on a Saturday or Sunday one week before they go public. However, there are times when I may upload the video early on YouTube whenever it's ready. If that happens, your shoutout will be mentioned in the next video I am working on. In one week, we will be having our first giveaway on April 29, 2023. I am still undecided whether it will be a live stream or a scheduled video, but I will let you know through the Life and Garden Facebook group. Please bear with me since this is my first time doing a live stream and I still have a lot to learn, especially on YouTubing. If it's a video, it will be released at exactly 12 midnight Winnipeg time on Saturday morning as scheduled on YouTube. That would be 10 p.m. Pacific time and might be around 1 p.m. Philippine time. I would like to ask for your input on the best time to hold the live stream. Please comment below with your preferred time. Your feedback would be greatly appreciated. It's worth noting that 12 midnight in North America would be around midday in Asian countries. Also, I would like to know whether you prefer a live stream or a scheduled video for the uh, giveaway answer questions. Please let me know again in the comment section below. Thank you! I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share these videos with your friends. Your comments would be greatly appreciated. Don't forget to click the notification bell to stay updated. Again, thank you and until next time, bye-bye!